At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Harumph's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. And welcome back to News 46. Kelly Adams has been named the new chief executive officer of Desert View Hospital. The former CEO, Susan Davila, has taken a job in the corporate office of the facility. News 46 introduces you to the, to the new head honcho of our local hospital. I've been here four days and uh, just trying to learn my way around. So being here four days and finding out about this health fair right away and getting to see the community involvement what's that like for you well most encouraging you know to see the participation of the community come out in in such numbers mm -hmm. and to have the resources available I think is illustrative of the type of resources I would like the community to be aware that this hospital provides Desert View Hospital has kind of been a hub of the community um, having events like this. Are we going to continue in this direction? Yes, yes, we will. You know, again, it's a resource for the community. And uh, there are several resources here that uh, patients, I, I like our patients in the community to be aware of that not, not all, everybody has to go to Las Vegas for health care. They can do it right here in Pahrump. Let's talk about you yourself professionally. All right. Uh, I've been doing this for 32 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been um, hospital administration and CEO uh, with a number of large companies, and I've worked in Washington, Oregon, or excuse me, uh, Washington and Utah, Texas, uh, Florida, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and uh, now here in Nevada. So, it, Are you coming from where? Uh, coming here from Phoenix, Arizona. I opened up a hospital in Phoenix uh, about six years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, had great success. Now we're here to kind of, you know, kind of move this hospital to the next level. Were you looking to come here to Nevada or this opportunity came up for you? Yeah, thank you. That's a great question. This, the opportunity really kind of came together by knowing the owners. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mark Stoddard, Ken Richens, you know, knowing the rural health guys that were out there that have other hospitals. And, um, you know, by knowing them and through our management skill sets, they were, you know, thinking of, you know, with health care reform, pressing down on all hospitals. It's time to kind of put some experience and put these gray hairs to work, uh, you know, in a different environment. Um, are you looking to, uh, have you had time to assess about uh, the hospital, things that you would like to change, things that you would like to keep the same? Well, remember, I've only been here four days. Mm -hmm. And so um, the things that I've, I've observed so far is, is the strength of the employees, mm -hmm. the strength of the department managers. Mm -hmm. Uh, the strength of the emergency room services. I'm, I'm very encouraged and, and most impressed. You know, I'm putting together how all the other health care components fit together. Well, the Miami Dolphins cut six-time Pro Bowl receiver 34-year-old Chad Johnson from the team after he was released from jail on a $2,500 bond after his wife accused him of headbutting him during an argument in front of their home. Johnson was charged with simple domestic battery, a misdemeanor. Butch Andre Harper will be leaving this week to deliver a condolence card in person to the mayor and city council of Aurora, Colorado on behalf of the citizens of Pahrump and Nye County. Well, I'm uh, taking the collages, a plaque, and all the signatures of the citizens of uh, Pahrump as a condolences from us to the city of Aurora, Colorado. And today it's going wonderful. I know I'm going to leave with over 1,000 signatures from the people of Pahrump. And that's what it's all about. We got to let them know that we care about them, and it's vice versa. If we don't help each other, nobody else will. You're also uh, asking people if they would like to make their own cards or get their own cards. You will deliver them for them. If anybody would like to write their own personal condolence letter to the town of Aurora, Colorado, get it to me Tuesday at the town board meeting, no later because I'm leaving Wednesday morning. I've already got confirmation. I've already talked to the officials of Aurora, Colorado. 
They're going to have television coverage, news coverage. I'll get a copy. I'll bring it back so it can be shown on Channel 46 or Channel 30. Excuse me, Dana. But we got to share it around. This is a community event that everybody can get together on. It's a positive message from Pahrump across this country. And I'll definitely make sure that everybody knows. And uh, I know that uh, we contacted the mayor, the city council, got all involved in this and contacted uh, the media there so that you can present this card in person to them. Correct. I'll be leaving Wednesday. And I'll meet them Thursday. And as far as uh, contacting the officials and everybody in Aurora, you can thank the Anna O'Donnell for doing that because she's the one that sent the email, not me. I'm computer illiterate. I just got what's in my heart and I just want to give. That's it. That's wonderful. And so um, people are going to be signing the card. If they want to sign the card and they can't come to the town board meeting or they'd like to give you one, do you have a phone number for them? Well, you can call me at 751-257, but I'm leaving Wednesday morning. So the best time to do it, no later, is Tuesday night at the town board meeting. And folks, keep it here because we'll be back with your weather after this break. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. And welcome back. Today we have partly sunny skies with a high at 103 degrees. Winds coming out of the southwest at 4 and our gusts at 9. Pressure at 29.95 and the UV index at 10. Very high still. Humidity still kind of up there at 17% and our sunrise at 6.01 a.m. Our record for today was 113 degrees back in 1937. Tonight we're going to have mostly clear skies and the National Weather Service up in Elko has actually issued a flood advisory warning for north central Nye County. They had around 3 p.m. had a thunderstorm pass through and it gave them nearly a half an inch of rain in shortly under an hour. So pretty crazy over there. Additional rainfall maybe, but a little more for north central Nye County as opposed to us. But it is still issued for Nye County until 6 p.m. So have to let you know that. Our low for tonight is going to be 80 degrees with winds coming out of the east southeast at 4. Gusts at 7. Humidity 26 percent and sunset at 736 p.m. Record for tonight was 60 degrees back in 1949. Let's move on to tomorrow. We're going to have mostly sunny skies. Our high 106 degrees with the low of 80 degrees. Winds coming out of the south southwest at 5 and our gusts at 10. Humidity 20%. So we're definitely going to feel that tomorrow. Sunrise at 6.02 a.m. and our UV index at 10. Very high. Looking now at our seven day forecast tomorrow, like we said, maybe some clouds. Wednesday and Thursday, sunny skies and Friday. Probably going to have partly cloudy skies again, but the weekend's looking pretty nice at this point as far as our skies are concerned. Temperatures, we are still going to be in the triple digits, though. Our highest high right now is going to be 106 tomorrow, and our lowest low will be 76 degrees on Thursday and Sunday and Monday. And here's Terry at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue with this week's Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, welcome to West Star Ranch. We're here with Sugar Bear, who's looking for her forever home. Sugar Bear is about two and a half years old and loves to run in the desert while you're riding your bike. You can see Sugar Bear at 780 Mance Road, just west of Prompt Valley Boulevard, or give us a call at 727-9273. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Channel 46 and Inks Automotive for their continued support. Come on down and see our dogs and cats. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. Don't forget, Domino's has a KPVM special. If you mention us when you call, call 
3030. That sounds yummy. I think sounds I'm going to try good. it. Sounds very good. Yeah. And also <laughs> like to give a shout out to Teddy. He's one of our viewers out there. I believe he's seven years old. I met him at an event last week. <gasps> really? Yes, and I want to give Aww. him a shout out. He watches us all the time. Thank you so I've much for watching. I've heard about that. He's yes. like one of your biggest fans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you to everyone who watches us. We yes. try to bring you the best news that we can all the time. Thank you so much for watching. And that's going to do it for today's news, this edition of News 46. I am Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell. From everyone up here at KPVM, we wish you a safe evening, and we will see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Purim. Good night.